Microsoft Access is a powerful tool for users in the office environment to create database. However, the default user form design options are unfortunately very limited. We will learn how to make, how to create background images today and how to apply these to Microsoft Access. Also, we will change the images, background images dynamically by using timer function or by clicking or by any other method. We will prepare four background images on Microsoft PowerPoint. We will set back background colors. Maybe we can use gradient colors and export them for Microsoft Access. This part is important. We create a system subfolder in our database folder and also we create the related subfolders into the in the system folder 
the first one will be background folder and also uh, we put all the background in its, into this folder so we will create others for the users for example user image and the files the related files and also the separated data will be there we we don't embed all the image in the into the our database in order to reduce the size of the file and we connect those files in our database VBA codes I'll create an empty form and set the properties insert an image select any of the file move the image to the left top corner and fit the image to the form dimension form edge and select anchoring and stretch and across selection and zoom will be stretch Now the image fits automatically to the form. Now select form. Go to form events, set the timer or changing to the image and timer event. We select and write our code. But first of all, we will create a module. To write a function this function will return randomized image name and path and we will connect the image data source to that function now speed up this coding process, I will share the codes in the description. The basic explanation for the code, the randomized numbers we've create in the function. And this function returns a number. So uh, between one to four, we, we have created four images. And the rest of the codes is preparing the path of the uh, this image by using the application path and this number so the function returns a uh, different file different image path in every time and also we connect the data source of the image to that function every time we query every time we refresh the image this function will call the new image and also on the timers email on the timer event we put a require command for this image every time the timer event triggering the image will 
also refreshed. Also, we put another triggering code into the click event of the image. So every time we click on the event, click on the image, it will trigger the uh, timer. So we trigger the refresh event. We trigger the refresh of the image. On every click on image, we'll set on and off of the timer. So when we click on the image, we trigger the cha image change function, but stops the timer. And when we click again, the timer also starts again. Uh, we can trigger the image change. It depends on our needs. For example, in every load of the database, maybe the uh, image can change automatically or you can change the image according to group of the team members or you can change the position of the people for example the managers can see different dashboard or different different images so backgrounds can be changed we will design the buttons on the next videos thank you